evidence-based associates service agreement. Mr. Tyson. Yes, sir. <clears throat> this is a uh, another agenda item related to the juvenile justice grant that we've been working on over the past uh, few months. Um, as you recall, back in June, uh, the commission gave approval for us to submit the application. You've actually, um, as part of that, um, approved a memorandum of agreement with evidence-based associates. They assisted us in putting the, the grant application together and um, have been working with us to identify some providers. Uh, we were recently notified that um, we didn't receive, we weren't awarded the entire amount that we requested. Uh, we requested it all close to $500,000, but um, <clears throat> Lowndes County has been awarded $200,000 to go toward the, the um, diversion programs for the juvenile court. And uh, so now what you have before you is the service agreement, which outlines um, the scope of work, um, what um, evidence-based associates will actually provide. They are actually already working toward, even in, the, in anticipation of the agreement being, being assigned, they're, they're already working to identify the local providers that will provide, implement the programs that um, Judge Council has selected. And so we need to uh, <clears throat> approve this agreement to kind of have a formalized agreement that, that outlines the payment schedules, um, what exactly they'll provide, um, you know, the criteria they'll be measured by. And uh, so I'd be glad to answer any questions you might have about the agreement. Any questions for Mr. Tyson? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Tyson. 